Adobe Audition Training, The Basics, Session 2, Importing Audio and Recording Your Own Audio. Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com and in this second Basics tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import and record your own audio in Adobe Audition. Now, you'll be able to access any audio from your hard disk by using the Media Browser, which is located here when you first load Adobe Audition. If I stretch out this window here, you'll be able to see that I can browse through my hard disk just like I was using the Finder application on my Macintosh. When I've selected the correct directory, which in my case is Tools, notice it's selected here in Contents, I then have access to everything in that directory. So this is a list of all the sound effects I've got in various different directories. Open them up just like you would if you were browsing through your hard disk, and then select the effect you want. Notice when I select that effect, it's automatically playing back because I have this button in, the Auto Play button. You can enable or disable that just simply by clicking. And then when I want to drag that effect into the Waveform Editor, I just simply pull it over like that. And there is that effect in the Waveform Editor. Now I'd like to record my own recording. So I go into the File menu, New, Audio File, or just hit Shift, Command, and N. Then I need to name my file, so I'll call it Mike. And once you've got a blank waveform there, all you need to do is hit the record button to start recording. Hello, this is Mike Russell recording a short voiceover. Hit stop to finish recording, and there's your first recording in Adobe Audition. If you'd like to get more audio production tips and tricks, click through to the website on your screen now and sign up to my newsletter with your name and email. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.